Hi everybody, how you doing today? Time for another five minute tutorial on tips and tricks in PowerDirector. I have version 15, but this should work in other editing software such as Sony, Adobe, etc. Okay, this effect here is what I call the four picture reveal. This comes in handy when you want to show a lot of pictures in a short period of time, just giving an overview of the scene of wherever you're at. Remembering the hierarchy over here in the tracks in the timeline, the lower numbered tracks take precedence over the upper numbered tracks. Now, since you want to have that one picture permanently as the background as the other four spring up and reveal, it actually needs to be on the upper track. So I'm going to double click on that very first picture. That's my background. And I want that to fill the screen. I'm going to untick maintain aspect ratio, uncheck that. Grab the picture on the side, just drag it over on both sides until you fill the black bars. And we are done with the background picture. Going on to the next picture, the first picture which is in track number two. Double click on it. The PIP designer opens up. Here's where the magic really happens. Take your mouse, put it on one of the corner cursors until you get the double arrow and shrink this down quite a bit. We'll call that good. Bring it over into the center of the grid line. By the way, my grid line setup is 4x4 four four for this application. Okay, we've got that set in the center now. Over down here, you're going to add keyframes. Position, scale, and opacity. Now, you could leave the opacity as it is, so it's 100%. I prefer it to spring out from zero. So I'm going to come over here to opacity, bring that all the way to the left. It's down to zero. The picture disappeared. We have our keyframes ticked here. Take your scrubber, bring it all the way to the right. This is a five second clip. Now, bring it up here until your mouse turns into that quad arrow. Bring it up to the upper left hand corner and resize it down. Bring it into the center. Opacity 100%. As you can see here, as you make your adjustments, the keyframes automatically fill in with each respective positioning scale and opacity to show that now it's full 100% opacity and up in this area. I prefer to have the picture filling this quadrant so I'll come back over here again just like with the first picture the the sign of the campground uncheck maintain aspect ratio drag the sides over until it fills that grid and again that will fill in automatically here as you do that on the keyframing. We'll back everything up, press play on the preview and there you see it spring up out of the out of the backside of all the other pictures. You didn't see it very well because there's other pictures below it which take hierarchy. So I'm going to run through this real quick. You're going to see it. I'll do it in a time lapse. I'll do everything that I just did for all the other pictures, but putting them in their respective quadrants, widen the picture to get rid of the, the edges, and then we'll see how it looks at the end. Okay, back on the main timeline. Let's see what we have here. Isn't that kind of cool? I like that. Well, there you go. What I call the four picture reveal with a background photo. Great for putting out a lot of information real quickly. You can of course leave this background as black or any color that you wish to add to it or any picture. Uh, I have used some wood and brick backgrounds 
uh, in this application that look kind of cool and uh, you can just put anything you want in there and then have them pictures come out from the center coming into view coming into opacity and there's five seconds you can make this duration any length of time that you want short or long and have it work to your liking if you want to freeze that last view of all four pictures take your uh, scrubber bring it all the way over to the right to the end of the clip that's your final view take a snapshot of it bring that down slide it in there just on track one then set your duration I'll go three seconds now we'll back it all up and play and there you go well that's it guys I hope you can get something useful out of this thank you very much for watching